Hello ship junkies, watchers, enthusiasts and alike. Welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as Lake Erie Vlogger. And today, once again, as you can tell, I'm actually on the water. And uh, behind me is the city of Buffalo. Uh, last time I was here was a couple of months ago when we came to watch the Great Republic enter the harbour, but I couldn't get any closer because I didn't actually go for the um, immigration uh, process kind of thing. Anyway, I've done that today. I've done the border app, so I'm legal to enter their uh, harbour today and have a look around. So that's what we're going to do today. There's two ships in the harbour right now. Uh, Great Republic once again has just shown up. Uh, it showed up about an hour ago, so maybe we'll see her trying to get onto her berth. And also here is the Manitoulin. Uh, she came in last night and we've got to go and find her see wherever she is uh, they're on separate pieces of water in here so I have to go and find out where they are join me as I take you into Buffalo Harbour as we go and look for some ships here in Buffalo today As you enter uh, Buffalo Harbour, uh, you're met with a couple of uh, historic naval vessels. Uh, I believe this is Buffalo Naval Park or Erie County Buffalo uh, Naval Park. Well, it's not every day you get up close to a submarine, is it? Wow. Mind you, I wouldn't like to be uh, submerged on that right now. How do you see better? Oh, there's the other one. Okay, there is three ships here. Okay. Can you imagine being on one of those back in the day? Wow. So which one's which? Is this a little rock or is that a little rock? I'm sure I'll find out when I get to the back of the boat, he'll tell me. Now I know. So this one's Little Rock. The Sullivan is the other ship. And Croker must be the submarine. Because I know uh, Great Republic just arrived in the last hour or so, she's down that mooring way down there. I'm going to go down this side, which is the main part of the river, Buffalo River, and we'll make our way down to Manitoulin, which is quite further down here, because she could be leaving sometime today, and it'd be nice. I don't want to miss that opportunity in case she does decide to leave. So let's head on into Buffalo, down the Buffalo River. In front of me is General Mills. A lot of the ships are coming here to drop off grain uh, for General Mills for processing. To make your Cheerios and other cereals. If you were at Canal Days for COVID the other week, uh, you'll recognize this boat, Edward M. Cotter, which I believe is the oldest in service fireboat in the world. Uh, the vessel is over 100 years old, if I'm not mistaken, and it's still in active service. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Manitoulin's around here, but the Great Republic is right there. So we'll go back to that one later, because it looks like she's still setting up to uh, unload. So we'll just keep making our way around uh, the river here until we find it. 
sorry if everything looks backlit. The sun's directly in front of me. It's virtually the whole way down here. Wow, and there she is. <laughs> That's amazing. How the hell does that get down here? That is some maneuvering. This is quite a windy channel. I'd love to see this go out. Anyway, she's still unloaded. Uh, she can't be much more to go. She looks pretty high up in the water now. So this is Manitoulin here in Buffalo. This thing just dwarfs me, look at it. She's sitting so high right now. Wow. This is uh, this is great to be up along. Manitoulin, built in 1991. Uh, she's a river class, uh, river class lake uh, freighter, self-unloading freighter, I should, play, uh, I should say. Uh, she's here right now in Buffalo unloading. She's 664 feet long. Um, self unloading she carries a, a full weight of 27,550 tons uh, she's quite a big vessel like I said right at the beginning 664 feet in length she's beauty as you can see the hull has uh, been through many locks over the years Now, because she's moored up, I can get really close to it. Now, here we are at the stern of the ship. Someone corrected me the other day. Um, Lake ships, ships freighted on the, on the lakes, you don't have to use nautical terms. So basically, they're really ship then, isn't it? Or is this person wrong as well? Uh, if they're not seawaring ships go out to sea, they're just on the lake, do you need to use the terms? I'm, I'm, still, I'm still learning, so it's just a, a genuine question. So is this the stern or just the rear? Thank you. 
say that's quite the feat of actually uh, navigating this through the river. It's very twisty and turning, like big 90 degree turns. So uh, yeah, they did it though. It'd be amazing to see. I think she's gonna be here for at least another hour or so. They're still unloading. But we'll keep an eye on that while I'm here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna head over to Great Republic and see what she's up to. Uh, she's on the other side. I wasn't expecting this. Um, I thought I'd be moored up somewhere, but I cut up to the Great Republic, and as you can see, she's right in the middle of the channel. So I'm hoping I have no problem going to the uh, to her port side. I've seen no signage down here saying don't go, and the marina's right there. So I'll crawl along until I can't go no further. So here you have it, the Great Republic. She was originally designed to maneuver on the winding Cayuga River and remains one of the most maneuverable ships in the world. And she's unlike traditional freighters. On this particular ship, all the accommodations are at the stern of the vessel, which puts the pilot house six decks above the main deck, as you can see. From there, the captain can see the entire deck from the wheelhouse and can also look down at the propellers and the rudder action at the stern. absolutely fascinating I didn't expect it to just find it just literally just stopped in the middle of a channel right here and unload it this season my first season of doing this has really been a learning curve I'm learning so much as I go along Right, getting close to the bow now. It's like you can see the ribs. If there's a human, it'd be like someone who hasn't eaten a lot and the ribs are starting to show.
so peaceful just seeing it. I say peaceful, I mean, you got that noise of that, but there's nothing here, there's no one around. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. What a great shot. The Great Republic. Second time we met this year. that is it from Buffalo hope you've enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed seeing Manitoulin and also the Great Republic it's been a nice little ride around here I've enjoyed it it's time to head back on home before the weather comes because we are forecasting some rain shortly so until then until the next time please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel be most appreciative and until the next video stay safe and I'll see you all very soon